Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and I'm excited to share my first devlog about the new game that I'm building, The Lost Windjammer. The game is currently in development and is being built with a Unity engine. Just before I continue, a little heads up, don't expect any fancy video, YouTube editing. I have literally no time, I'm building the game, I have my kids, I have my wife, so um, don't expect any fancy stuff, any amazing stuff. It will be just me, raw content and chit-chatting in the mic. If you want to ask me what is The Lost Windjammer, how would you describe it? For me, it's an open world survival exploration game, which is inspired by the movie Waterworld, where the earth is flooded by water and you are trying to survive as one of the Lost Windjammers on your sail ship that is called, uh, technically called a trimaran. I remember when I was young that I watched that movie, I think maybe five to ten times, uh, over and over again, seeing Kevin Costner on his sail ship, fetching loot with his harpoon, fighting enemies, and even that nostalgic scene where he manipulated the sails and, and make that make that lean on his ship so he could turn in, in, a, in a much uh, sharper angle. It, it was so nostalgic, and that's exactly the same setting, apocalyptic setting I want to reflect in the game. In comparison with other games, there will be no building available in this game. This game is all about exploration, finding windstones, which uh, I will come back later on, slaying enemies, fighting bosses, and just try to survive on this open, endless ocean, which will spawn, will, which will keep spawning islands, procedurally generated random islands, over and over again. The way you progress in this game is all about finding windstones and collecting resources by slaying mobs, slaying bosses, find random loot that is uh, floating on the ocean which you can hook up with your harpoon. The, the windstones is some concept I was thinking about. It's something that can spawn randomly, has a chance to spawn randomly on an island uh, guarded by monsters. And uh, if you want to, for example, you want to upgrade your ship you will need to find a trading post. And a trading post is something that also spawns random on a random location in the in the ocean and where you can feel safe and just dock your ship and um, combine those windstones along with other resources in order to uh, upgrade your ship and eventually make progress um, that way. I've been working on this game for quite a while now where the majority of my time was thinking about the concept and um, doing some prototyping stuff, and especially the, the open ocean and the procedurally generated islands took a lot, a lot of time, a lot of research and a lot of trial and error because I think having this endless open world that's completely random um, for, is, is, is basically an amazing experience for the player because it's, it's never ending content. And uh, if you want, if you want to replay it, um, you can just change the world seat and you will have a completely different um, adventure awaiting for you. I'm currently in the stage of the development where I'm creating the real project. And by saying creating the real project, I mean, um, it always makes me giggle a little bit when I say that, but it's basically creating the, 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 final, the final project, Unity project, where I'm porting all my prototyping code in it, make it clean, make it fast, make it organized, um, so the project that eventually the project that will eventually be the final product. As you can see, the procedurally generated world is already coded in. Um, it's not 100% complete, but I'm very already very happy with the result. The object generator could have some more objects in it, but for now it's just a couple of trees and some rocks. Um, but I'm I'm almost, I'm already very very happy with the result. Uh, the ship, um, <laughs> as you can see, the ship is very prototypey. It's um, what, what what technically is being called a trimaran. Consists out of a main hull, a left and a right floater, and um, has a simple mechanics already, like raising the sails and steering. For raising the sails, right now it's just a binary operation where the player can just raise the sails, which means you will go from zero speed to full speed, and if you drop the sails, you will go from full speed to zero speed. Eventually I want to have it, I want to have the same mechanics like Sea of Thieves where you can partially raise your sail and have that speed accordingly. The world uh, has a, a random wind speed and wind direction um, and based on that direction that's where your ship will be floating when if you are not raising your sails. The character right now is a placeholder model coming from Mixamo 
where I'm using the animations coming from the standard Unity package. I think third person for this game is way much superior than first person, seeing your character standing on your ship, enjoying the view on the ocean, it's really amazing. I think third person is the way to go for this type of game. I am planning to release weekly devlogs for this game in order to have some fast feedback loops. It would be so amazing to have some kind of feedback from you guys whenever it's good feedback or negative feedback. As long as it is some kind of feedback, it would be very helpful because I'm sitting in the code every day creating some kind of tunnel vision and having somebody else with another perspective on the game and mechanics and ideas would be very, very nice to have. I'm also thinking about live streaming development for this game. Just me coding, thinking about ideas alongside with you guys. That would be a very nice idea. Let me know what you think about that. I think this sums it up for the first, what I called, introduction devlog for The Lost Windjammer. Please, uh, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you guys know when I post new stuff for The Lost Windjammer. See you guys on the next devlog. Peace.